Okay, let's talk about how to uh, get your images in those weathered frames um, that I gave you. So uh, let's open up just a regular image. Let's say I went through all my camera raw steps and now I want to put that into a frame. So what I need to do is get it over into Photoshop. So I'm going to open image in Photoshop. Okay, I have some frames up here that I'm going to use as examples. Okay. So I'm going to use this one first. Uh, it's sort of like templating. Um, you don't have to size it or anything. We're going to do it all based upon our eye. But right here, my image is sideways and the frame is not. So the first thing I want to do is rotate that. Okay. Um, next thing I want to do is I want to drag using my move tool, which is this top tool over here. I want to drag this image over to my frame. Okay. Now notice some images are going to be quite a bit bigger. In fact, most will be bigger. Some will be a little bit smaller, but what you need to do at this point is come over to your layers here and notice that I have a border on top. It says to put your photo here and then the photo mask is here. So what I want to do is drag this below photo so it masks it in there. And then I'm just going to press the delete key to delete that fo empty photo layer. Okay, now um, I could be done at this point. All right, if I like it that way, uh, I could totally be done with that. Now, a lot of times these frames will look really good with overall colorization or overall black and white. So what I'm going to show you is how to colorize it here in Photoshop. So I'm going to go up to the adjustments right here and I'm going to go to hue saturation and I'm going to click on this colorize button. I right, notice that colorizes it. Uh, based upon what hue I have here. Okay. So I'm going to go to like a reddish hue and then increase the saturation. All right. Now, that is not saturation, uh, that is not uh, making the border saturated with color because it's black, so I don't have to worry about it. But usually you want to put that hue saturation layer on the top of everything just in case there's some um, transparency involved and then that way it will go to the color that you chose. Okay. Now after hue saturation <clears throat> or in general your last step is going to be to uh, put a levels layer on it. So I'm going to go right here, click on that levels layer and then I have my levels here. And what I want to do is this is the whites in the image. Okay. I'm going to creep it up a little bit this way, not too far. And blacks. I'm going to go just a tiny bit this way. And then midtones are going to be the rest of the colors. So I think I like it right like that. So I could be done with this. When I'm totally done, I want to flatten the image. So I'm going to go to the palette menu, go to flatten image, and now I can um, save that for editing, save it for my portfolio. I could also uh, template that to print just like a normal picture. Okay, let's go to the next one here. Okay, so this is a slightly different type of frame. So again, I'm going to grab my move tool. I'm going to move it up and in to, to uh, this frame. Okay. And I'm going to put it where that photo was. Okay. Delete that photo layer. Okay. Now it is in there, except it's a little small. So I'm going to increase the size of that just a little bit. I go Command T to transform it. <coughs> I want to take a corner handle and drag this out and that will stay in proportion and then I can move this over okay. so I could do it that way or 
I could keep it the same size as it was. So I'm going to undo that, keep it this size, and decrease this instead. So I'm going to go Command-T, and when I'm on this mask here, I can hold the Shift key because if I don't hold the Shift key, it's going to keep everything in proportion. And I don't want to do that. What I want to do is just take this top one down so I can press the Shift key and that will break uh, the constraint. And then I can just take that top one down so I can see more of the image that way. Okay. So I'm going to press the Return key. So I could be done at that point, or like I said before, you can go colorize it or make it black and white. Let's make it black and white this time. Okay. Always finish up with a levels layer on top. Creep those in a little bit. Okay, and then when I'm done, there's too much white space up here, so I'm gonna grab my crop tool go right to the edge. Press the return key. Okay, then I flatten the image and then I can uh, print it or take it to my portfolio or save it for portfolio and save it for editing. Okay, let's do one more. Okay, so uh, this time I'm going to grab my move tool again drag it up and in. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to drag this below the photo and delete that photo layer. Um, this time, I'm going to go Command T, and as long as I don't have the Shift key down, that will stay in proportion when I make it smaller by using one of those corner handles. So I'm going to make sure I see the whole image that I wanted Two. So I'm going to go down here, then I'm going to press the return key to make that take effect. And then I'm going to click on this top one, and then I'm going to hold the command key and click on this mask. All right? And then I'm going to go command T to transform that, and this time I'm going to hold the shift key because I just want to take that top down. Okay. Now, it did eke that bottom one down a little bit, so I'm going to bring that up a little bit. So I'll go right like that, press the return key. Okay, now this one for sure I want to colorize because I have that blue in there, and that might look good if you have blue in your image, but it doesn't look so good here. So what I want to do is go to the top layer, hit Hue Saturation, Colorize, I sort of like that color right there, maybe a little bit oranger, more orange, I guess. Um, and then I'm going to end up with Levels. So I'm going to go to Levels, sneak that one, the white slider and black slider in a little bit, darken this down. And that looks really good. So now I'm just going to crop that white out of there. Grab my crop tool. Come in here. I sort of like this area, so I'm going to keep that. And press the return key. Now I'm good to go. I have to flatten it. All right. Hope that helps.